Hello, welcome back to Meta Perfume. I'm Emily again today with Felix and Twixie. Felix is here, Twixie's over there. Um, so thanks for checking me out. I am going to cover a single Armaf fragrance today, one that I recently got in a haul. I was going to do the niche line, which I have five of them. I don't know if you can see them there, right there. I pulled them out so I could do that, but I don't know if you ever have those days where you're just like over it. <laughs> not YouTube or not perfume, but like life, like just people. <laughs> That's kind of how I feel. So I scaled it back and decided to just do Savia, so this fragrance today, which is Armaf's uh, Saville or Savia. I don't know how to pronounce it exactly. Pour Femme. Um, this is a pineapple heavy fragrance and that's about all I can manage for the day. I can't do the full line of niche, it's too much, it's too intense. But this, this lovely fragrance, I can manage. Mm. I'll be alright. <laughs> just people. <laughs> I'm sure you get it. I'm sure you get it sometime. <sighs> Okay, so Sylvia is very um, feminine, very sweet, but not too sweet in my opinion. I like the sweetness of this. I think the fruits in it are interesting, kind of unique. Um, top notes of pineapple, which is the most prominent note, grapefruit, orange, and rose. Um, not a whole lot of rose in this though that anybody can detect. I'll put the note profile up here. Um, middle notes, you can see pink pepper and passion fruit, of which I smell more of the passion fruit than the pink pepper. And then in the base, praline, amber, musk, patchouli, and vanilla. And that's the order that Fragrantica says that the um, base notes are like noticeable by other people, but I get more of the patchouli and the musk than I do of the praline and the amber myself. Um, this is kind of an interesting bottle. I think it's kind of cool. It's got like hopefully faux leather <laughs> and this little like cap uh, thing and it says our moth inside. So that's pretty cool. It's, yeah, it's cool. Um, so I've been playing around with this. I think it's a pretty sexy, pretty yummy perfume. I've, you know, let a few other people uh, try it out and they really liked it too. So I think this is, you know, a compliment getter. And it's my first pineapple fragrance. So that's pretty exciting to me because I like it. Yeah, it's got, it's got that sexiness, I think, from the musk. And I don't think there's much of the vanilla at all in it, but it kind of contributes to the sweetness. And the pink pepper just makes it like gives it that subtle spiciness it, it kind of adds complexity <sighs> yeah it's a good one i'm gonna say this is like good for evening probably more so than oh it's insane and daytime it's more of a night it's like sexy going out fragrance <sighs> and it lasts a decent amount of time. Give it about five or six hours longevity. Um, it doesn't really change a ton. The dry down and the opening, you can still kind of smell the top notes for a long time. So it's not like a super dynamic fragrance that has a very different dry down than the opening, but it's nice. So I'm going to say this is probably better for cooler, coolish weather months like mm, fall maybe early spring, winter, probably is fine. Just spray a little more, but it is fruity. I don't know, you might do it in the summer if you just went light with it. Yeah, all right, so Seville, Sevilla by Armaf. <laughs> give it a thumbs up, give it a, a sexy, good pineapple fragrance. And thanks for tuning in. Please subscribe if you haven't. I like this video if you liked it and I will see you in my next one. Take care.